Hey, and welcome to this update video. It's been about six months since the last time. If you've seen my last video, you know what this game is. If not, then here's the idea. This is Black One Blood Brothers, a single player focused squad based tactics game in the same spirit as old Ghost Recon, not the newer ones. If you want to know more about the game, I'll link the first video I made about it here somewhere. I'm going to jump right into pros and cons. How is the game after six months? I've got some gameplay going in the background here. Brightness is still a problem. There is no brightness slider. This is a standard feature in all games. Six months on, I don't know why it still doesn't have it. It is still washed out looking, although this mission being at night, you can't really see that. That's kind of why I chose to show this gameplay. I'm mostly looking for more color. There's a lot of grays and browns, and there's a blurriness to the visuals, which looks unpleasant. I'm more interested in gameplay changes. I know that visual updates will come with time, so I'm not going to hang around on these points for too long, but the visuals do definitely need work. Something I noticed is that the, the game seems to be very taxing on my PC. It's mostly a new build, but the graphics card I have is a GTX 2070 Super, which is still a decent card. I don't know why the fans are so loud constantly. It, it seems like the game is a, a bit of a system hog, and I don't know why. If you have an older PC build, I would keep this in mind because it's not just my GPU. Even the CPU fan was going full blast constantly. I just built this PC this year. That I didn't buy a new GPU because it's way too expensive. But it's kind of a mid-range sort of system. But even so, I don't think this game should be taxing my system as much as it is. I've never had any problems with visuals in the game or stuttering or anything like that, but man, those fans get really loud. Anyway, they have added squad commands for when you're playing in first person. I was asking for this, they added it, and I'm happy about that. You can see that going on right now in the gameplay. For those of you who don't want to use the pre-planning steps to tell all your squad mates where to go, what to do, and then watch all of it play out. Squad commands are for you. You can tell people to move on the fly, open a door, clear a room, whatever it is. And that's really nice. Unforeseen events are things that can derail your objectives. A hostage isn't where you thought they were or your extraction point is compromised. You may have noticed that when I was first setting up the mission, there was a chance that I could get detected when I enter a map at the insertion point. I'm sure they will add more of these. I hope that they add more. It gives variety to the missions so things can go wrong and then you have to adjust how you complete the objectives. Support and logistics is a new menu to adjust difficulty. You can call in an air raid to drop missiles. UAV to detect enemies or a supply drop with which gives you access to any weapons or equipment you want. You have to be careful though because you use a marker aimed at the ground to call in support. I accidentally blew up my whole squad while placing the marker for an air raid. I placed it too close to me. So do be careful about that. They have a map editor now, so you can build your own maps. I haven't looked at that in depth, but you start with a base map of a jungle, a forest, the Arctic, something else, or an empty map. It seems pretty robust. There are a lot of assets you can place around the map. For people who want to build their own maps, this is a good addition. Speaking of maps, they have added a few new maps, I think three of them, and a bunch of other visual adjustments to the game. 
You can check out all the details about the game updates if you go to the Steam community page for the game. I'm not going to go through all the, the change logs and everything like that. If you want to know specifics, you can look that up there. This developer has added a lot. They're consistently updating the game with major new features, not little tinkering here and there. I think the future for this game looks great. Remember, this is Early Access. It came out in January 2022, and the developers are estimating 18 to 24 months in Early Access. Potentially, the game won't be finished then until January 2024, which is reasonable. So, if you're not interested until the game is done, wishlist it, come back later, I'll keep doing these videos to update you until the game is finished. You can subscribe to my channel if you wish. I'll keep you updated every six months or so. Check out my other videos if you want. Click the thumbs up if you like this or don't. I'm not your mother. And I'll see you next time.